the circle drills. A circle drill is a drill in which players start in a single line, hit a series of shots, and return to the back of that line. In this basic drill, the pro feeds three balls along the baseline. Players drive the ball and return to the end of the line. Here we're doing the same three ball circle drill, but the players hit the first ball deep, the second ball short, and the third ball deep again. Again, a three ball circle drill, but this time the pro feeds the first ball short, the second ball deep, and the third ball short. This is your standard circle drill with the pro feeding two balls. Players still circle to the end of the line. We call this the back out circle drill. Here the players start in the backhand corner and hit two balls, pedaling around their backhand, hitting their forehand. Here the pro starts the players in the forehand corner, feeding two balls, the first ball deep, the second ball the players can make as an approach shot, short. Here the pro reverses that drill, feeding the first ball short, as an approach shot would be, then making the players run back for the deep ball. This drill can be incorporated with a number of players. It's a double circle drill, group on the baseline and a group at the net. The ground strokers drive the ball to their partner at the net and then circle back in line. Here's a similar version of the last drill. It's a great workout drill. We only have one player at the net going side to side and the rest on the baseline are doing the standard two ball circle drill. Here's a very advanced drill. Be careful with this. We've got the standard circle drill on the baseline with three balls, one volleyer taking all the shots. This drill combines the forehand and the backhand. We start the players in the center. They hit a forehand drive down the line or cross court, then circle back to the end of the line. Here we have the same drill with, the, with two players at the net. Players still circle the end of the line. Another variation is to hit the forehand deep and the backhand short, simulating the approach shot on the backhand side. We call this the zigzag drill. Players start in the far forehand corner, hit a very wide forehand, then cross over and hit their backhand. Here the players come in for a short approach shot forehand and then make a deep backhand lob recovery. Here the pro feeds a very short ball to give the players an opportunity to hit the ball in the dead run. Pro starts them with the racket against the back screen. Here the pro starts the players wide off the court and makes them hit a wide running forehand. Here the pro really tries to give the player a good workout, giving him a random number of shots, running them hard side to side. The players pick up the number of balls that they hit and put them back in a basket off the court. Here the pro feeds a backhand short ball. Players come in and hit a forehand volley out of the air. Another similar drill, the pro feeds a high approach volley to the forehand side. 
players close the net and hit a backhand volley. Here the pro feeds a volley as players come to the net. They hit consecutive volleys to the same target area. Once they make a mistake, they leave. Here the pro feeds a backhand approach shot, backhand volley. Player crosses over and hits a forehand volley. This is the same drill where the pro feeds the approach shot, a backhand volley. Then he, as he feeds the approach shot to the next player, the player just hitting shuffles to his right to hit the overhead. This drill is designed for singles, approach shots, and volleys. The players hit the ball down the line as they would in singles toward the pro feeding the ball. The pro then feeds two volleys to the, to the net man, and he puts them away to the opposite corner. This is a serve and volley drill. The pro is off your court in this picture, but he will hit the return of serve, simulated back to the incoming server. Here the player hits one serve. Whether he makes it or not, he comes to the net. The pro feeds two volleys. Here we go back to the standard three ball circle drill, this time all at the net. The players hit three volleys, one in the alley, one in the center, one in the alley, then circle back in line. Here the pro makes the players work on closing the net to hit their volley. He starts them off the court in the alley, and they all come in together upon his command, go. They hit their forehand volley for a put away, closing the net each time. In this drill, the instructor works on the defensive placement of the low volley down the line and the offensive placement of the high cross-court volley. This is a great drill to do for larger classes. Here the pro feeds a combination forehand backhand volley to the group in front of him as two players reflex the volley in the alley off the court. This is a standard circle drill, two balls with the pro feeding the lob for the players to work on their overhead. Urge the players to hit the ball cross-court. This is the suicide overhead drill. Players run in, touch the net, drop back, and hit a deep overhead. Two balls, then circle back in line. Here the players scramble in to make the volley before it hits the ground, then scramble back to hit the overhead. This is a great drill to really move the class. The pro feeds a forehand volley, backhand volley to the net player, then they chase down a lob recovery. This really moves the group. The volley are coming in, hitting a forehand volley, closing the net, hitting a backhand volley, looping back in line. Make them run wide. This is a fun drill for junior groups as well as adults. The pro reflex volleys the ball back to the line. All players try to keep it going as long as possible. This drill will move a large group as well. Pro feeds a random volley with players reacting to either side he feeds. Here we show another three ball circle drill, but this time on the backhand side. This is to remind you that all these drills can be reversed. We've shown simply the forehand application.
another way to increase the number of drill possibilities is to change and vary the direction and placement of the ball here the pro feeds a simple two ball circle drill but ask the students to lob the second ball